As I've stated in my past videos, the Halidom is so incredibly dense that once a character enters it, they're unable to leap for the rest of eternity due to the sheer gravitational well it creates. But today I'm going to talk about a character who managed to hit escape velocity and leave the gravitational well, before getting sucked right back in. Adetta, Wanderlust Incarnate, is a four-star light sword first introduced in the Thunder and Splendor Summoning Showcase. Adetta loves to explore new worlds, so remember that whenever you take her on a new quest, to explore every inch of the area in search of secrets. Unfortunately, we don't currently have any content where Adetta can live up to her full potential, as most quests only last 2-5 to five minutes. But during those quests, Adetta is quite a skilled swordswoman. With a few sword swipes and hopefully a force strike, she'll make quick work of any dark type enemies she faces, and will eventually take down others as well because as a light unit she has no natural weaknesses. Although she loves to explore, Adetta was likely born in the Dragalyost equivalent of America, because her skills are all about freedom. That's right, her first skill, Liberty Slash, puts those freedom-hating fiends in their place, firing off what I can only assume are eagles at them. And if they don't instantly make their way to their graves, it may also reduce their defense. And her second skill brings freedom to the whole party if they're in the vicinity. Freedom Ring restores HP and grants a strength buff to Adetta and allies standing near her. Now the whole party can spread Alberian freedom across the land. As she's always moving hastily about, it's only natural that Adetta would develop some kind of haste as a co-ability. But then she picks Dragon Haste instead of Skill. Oh well, she picked them some other fine abilities from her travels. Her first one raises her strength when she's above 70% HP. Additionally, it's a little known fact that pretty dresses, like the ones in Disney princess movies and the one Adetta wears, commonly give you resistance to being either poisoned or cursed. But ironically, the wearer always faces the other type of affliction. In Adetta's case, with Poison Res, she'll have a hard time facing off High Zodiac, as the Curse of Affliction will also curb the usefulness of her 5 star ability, Buff Time. But where she is useful, Adetta's going to want some good equipment, or at least some that's thematically appropriate. The Sword Folkvanger makes for a nice souvenir that's literally from another world, and will help Adetta remain strong if she's not between specifically 70 and 50% HP. For her Warm Prince, Bonds Between Worlds is another good one that will make travel easier for Adetta, and Warrior Maiden also fits the theme. For our dragon, you should really equip one with some travel expertise. Maybe one that knows a thing or two? And also happens to be the best dragon in the whole game, Fubuki. Adetta often travels alone, but might enjoy some company when on missions for the prince. Ramona has expressed interest in seeing the world, and with the help of Noelle, this group might just be able to reach escape velocity once more. Orion is also tagging along too, to make sure everyone stays safe on their travels. In summary, Adetta is a good pick if you like deleting overdrive bars, great supportive skills, or freedom in general. Just know that with all these great things comes the trade-off of playing a character that beyond wanting to travel has little to no personality.